Welcome, Eric, to CFRE Radio. We are very excited to have you here. Um, I just want to introduce myself first. So um, I'm a University of Toronto Mississauga student. My name's Arundhati Banerjee, and um, I recently started my job here at CFRE Radio. And um, I would just like to know your background and how you got here, like what your plans are for the future. So yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, my name is Eric Punzo and I live in Etobicoke. It's just outside of the city of Toronto. And uh, I'm a singer songwriter. I've been doing it for quite some time, but professionally, I would say like maybe two years now. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's just been, it's been a journey. It's just been a lot of writing, a lot of meeting people, networking, and I'm here now still grinding. So yeah, no, I saw, and I've been seeing your music videos on YouTube and they're they're very great to see <laughs> um i am really curious how did you start off like what made you think that you want to do music and become a singer songwriter uh i think early on it was just pretty much being inspired from certain artists like uh like city and color and even like when i was super young like bon jovi his vocals mm -hmm. and like songwriting brian adams like another canadian guy so yeah, I think being inspired at a young age was kind of like the entry point of like thinking about wanting to do music. But right. I think making like the executive decision to really pursue it didn't come until a little later on in life. Yeah. Like I was in university. So, yeah, it was just it was just a journey leading up to it, like always thinking about it, like how it could be a feasible and like a legit thing. But yeah, it's kinda, you just have to go with your gut and make the decision and jump into it. So. Yeah, that's great. Um, so you release your newest song, uh, which is um, If I Told You That I Missed You. Um, mm -hmm. It's your newest single. I love it. I started listening to it and it was really great. Um, and I just, this is your first love song. Um, mm -hmm. So what inspired you to write this song and not just follow your usual genre of music? Mm -hmm. um, so I wrote it. Uh, I would say like a couple of years ago and uh, I wrote it during a time where I started to sort of like think about my ex-girlfriend quite a bit like more than usual and like just thinking about sort of like how she would feel if I were to like straight up tell her like hey I kind of miss you and uh, like that was the thought process and then then it just flowed from there and it uh, became a song that I really liked and then it took you know a little while deciding how we could fit it into like the other songs and the other releases but I think like sonically, the music is still still very much so me. So it wasn't like a weird feeling having to put it out, but it, it's always like interesting putting it putting out a love song that, you know, knowing that you haven't put one out before. So that was that was. No, it's great. Um, you said that you wrote it a couple of years ago, correct? <laughs> How come yeah. you're releasing it just now? Um, well, like being a songwriter you literally well I'll speak for myself but I write stuff all the time so yeah. it's kind of hard having to balance and decide which songs you want to put out at, at what time so I guess it was just but just that like basic process of like not knowing when to release something because there's you know a ton of other songs but um but yeah I felt like it was a good time now that we're starting to play like a bunch of shows and and like we have a lot of different listeners from different parts of the world so a love song doesn't hurt at all yeah, no, of course. Um, so do you think we can expect any more love songs? Yeah, absolutely. I feel like it's one of those things, like once you put one out, uh, you just get sucked into that hole of just writing about love all the time. And like, yeah. as you get, <laughs> it's such a relatable thing between just like for myself and for even strangers, like love is definitely a real thing. So mm -hmm. definitely expect more of those for sure. Okay, great. Good to hear. Um, I saw that you have another song, which I really liked. Um, it's called All In My Head. Um, and the most interesting thing about that song is actually the music video for me. <laughs> um, what, why that kind of a music video? Because I noticed that for people who don't know, I noticed that it was just you in your room and you were just kind of it seemed as though you were concerned about what's going on, like what's in your head and you were writing music and you were on your bed and you were just moving around. Um, 
I feel like being a college student, at least, like that kind of related to me a lot. And I love that music video. Um, <laughs> and I just wanted to know um, when you're writing this, like, is this how you felt? Like, is that why you put this music video out? Yeah, I tried to decide on, um, on how we could do like a visualizer for this song without going too far into like like intricate and uh like a, like an awesome video and we kind of just wanted to make it as cool and simple as possible and as relatable as possible to the actual lyrics and the vibe of the song and so um and yeah so we decided that if we find like a small room that kind of represents like my head like you know there's a lot of stuff going on in the room it's a little bit messy it's a little bit tight in there and I spend a lot of time in there the whole time mm-hmm. there so it's it's pretty much just like a metaphor of like the room being my head I guess and so we decided that that's the best way to do it just keep it simple and super relatable got it yeah it's definitely relatable you know I was listening to that song on my way to school and I was like yeah it is really all in my head it's just just with so much work and everything I would I would expect like that is exactly how I'm feeling as well. So it's a great song. I really like it. <laughs> yeah. um, so congratulations, first of all, um, you on you have a show on November 4th, correct? And yeah, your show has been sold out. Um, that is amazing. How do you feel? Uh, it's really exciting, honestly. Yeah. Um, yeah. Having the first the first headliner that I'm playing um, being sold out. It's like definitely a really cool feeling. It's something that like, I'm, I'm definitely proud of myself to a certain extent because we worked, we worked pretty hard getting to this point, but at the same time, it's just, I'm really honored that people are interested in going to see me play in my city. So definitely a really cool feeling. I'm excited. It's gonna be a lot of fun. No, I'm sure like you you and your team must be extremely proud and um, I was looking at it and I wish I could come, but all the tickets are sold out. <laughs> um, but maybe next time, next time we will. <laughs> I- um, so you, right now you are based in Canada, correct? Right. right. You're right. only doing performances in Canada. Um, and I, I wanted to know, like, do you think maybe you will go outside of Canada, maybe internationally? Is that the goal in the future? Yeah, I think like as a musician um, in Canada, we kind of all we kind of all understand how it's a little bit I don't want to say limited, but definitely not not as many opportunities compared to the U.S. just because of just everything like population funding and everything. And um, so, yeah, like the goal is definitely to break through Canada. But I think um it's good for me to like kind of just stay focused on one thing at a time because we're kind of not exactly where I want to be yet but um but yeah for sure like it's definitely a goal to kind of extend out there to the U.S. and everywhere else if things go well. Yeah of course and I also think like starting off and also having your first headliner being sold out like it's also already a great start um so I'm sure it's gonna go extremely well in the future (laughs) um so i just i had one more question um before um but the question that i wanted to know is like you you started off as a single like you you only do singles at this moment um and is there any way that you would want to go into a band or if you want to collaborate with anyone um any musicians that you look up to that you would want to collaborate with um yeah so so I am a solo artist like the project is solo it's under my name but but for these bigger shows like especially this um these four shows coming up this weekend and the weekend after I am playing with uh band members so I don't always perform solo But uh, even though the project is solo and then like in regards to collaborating, like, of course, it's it's obviously like a really cool thing to collaborate with other talented people and musicians specifically. Um, There's a ton of people that I would love to collaborate with. I think um, I think a really cool collaboration would be like uh, I think Post Malone one day would be like phenomenal. Right. Post Malone. 
I think I I would like him as a person as much as he would like me too. So that would be that would be a lot of fun. But um, there's so many people that I would like to collaborate with. Yeah, of course. No, that's that sounds great. And I guess it's it's good to look up to things that you really want. And I'm like I said before, like the show has been sold out, and your music is really great. I really enjoyed listening to it, and I really enjoyed having our talk today. Uh, this interview was short, but I feel like I got to know you more and I got to understand this better. Um, sorry. I had a great time as well, and I agree. Uh, I, I didn't reveal too much, but I feel like you get to know me a little bit for sure. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, Eric. Um, congratulations again on November fourth, and also good luck. I'm sure it'll go well. It's tomorrow. So. Yeah. Okay, bye. Yeah, it was nice to meet you. See ya. If I told you that I missed